and just finished your senior year at Bishop Dwenger. So talk about what's next for you. Obviously, you're going down uh, to the North-South All-Star game. Mm -hmm. So I'll play that this weekend, and then I'll also be traveling with my travel team that I've been with for a few years now to prepare for what comes next in college. So. One of five finalists for Miss Softball here in the state of Indiana. What was your reaction when you heard that? Um, I, was, I wasn't really thinking about it, so I was a little surprised. But I'm really excited to be able to um, represent my region, and so I'm excited to find out this weekend. When you take a look at what you've been able to accomplish, I know when it comes to major awards in the state of Indiana, it seems like it's very Indianapolis-centric. Mm -hmm. So for people to have realized kind of what you've accomplished, does that even give you a bigger feather in your cap knowing that hey, you're one of the top five people and you're not from the Indianapolis area? Right. I mean, it is kind of uh, more exciting that way just because, you know, like people forget about the upper region and the southern regions. So it's nice to finally like put our name out there and be able to um, represent Dwenger in a positive way. Your four years of Bishop Dwenger, where do you think you made the most progress on the softball field? Um, let's see. Definitely, I think my senior year because I was appointed the leadership position and as a new infielder it was a lot to transition to but I was able to communicate better to the infielders and also the outfielders so I think um, having that uh, helped the team. You hit 625 this past season. Um, hitting 300 is great. Hitting double 300 is even better. Um, what was it that allowed you to have the success at the plate that you had? I wanted my senior year to be a fun year so I didn't want to th think too much at the plate, so I just let my mind clear, and it helped. <laughs> I think I read 31 of your 55 hits were for extra bases, so you weren't just making contact. You were driving the, the softball. Um, is that one of the things that you were looking to do, I mean, every time you came up looking for extra bases? No, not exactly. I kind of just – I knew I wanted to hit the ball hard, so – but it didn't matter where it went, and it came out pretty well. <laughs> I heard you didn't strike out at all your senior season. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no strikeouts. I heard you didn't even swing and miss once. Is that true? I missed once, and that was in our regional game. So you swung and missed once all season long? Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. How did, how did you develop and hone that kind of skill to get to that level? Um, I didn't really think about it too much. I, I mean, that's the whole thing. Like, I didn't want to think too much, and I just wanted to watch the ball come in and just swing and let my mechanics do the work. and. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously your sister had a lot of success at Purdue, uh, playing professionally now down in Dallas. How much impact did, you know, being able to watch her and did she have on, on you in terms of the game of softball? It had a strong impact on me. I loved watching her play. I loved watching everything about it. And it, that sparked my interest in softball, definitely. And seeing her succeed and progress in softball inspired me to do the same. Are there any more Burkharts behind that Coach Peters can count on? <laughs> I do have a younger sister, but she's focusing on volleyball. Okay. So. Um, final question, North Carolina. What was it about North Carolina that you liked, and what kind of impact are you hoping to have in Chapel Hill when you report there in August? Um, North Carolina is a beautiful school, and it's strong academically and in the softball program. And I kind of just fell in love with it, and I'm excited to move out of Indiana and be on my own. So, I don't know. I just love North Carolina and the area, and I fell in love with it. So. Anything else you'd like to add? Oh, no, that's good. Well, I guess we do have one more question. If you were to win Miss Softball, what would, what would an award like that mean to you? It would mean a lot. Um, it would definitely show uh, su success in my um, like progress in softball and um, showing that I can compete. So. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add? No, nope, that's it. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much.